In part two of our series where we discuss first ionization energy, we'll continue where we left off. And we left off with question number one, part E, where we were trying to determine which element has the higher first ionization energy. And we learned that as you move up a column and to the right of a column, it increases the first ionization energy. So let's continue on with E. We have to compare the element tin to iodine. We'll start by locating these on the periodic table, and I do have one on the screen. Tin is found right here, and iodine is found here. Notice that tin and iodine are in the same period, but iodine is to the right of tin. We learned that as you move to the right of a period, it increases the ionization energy, so the answer is I. Now we compare calcium to strontium. Calcium is higher up the column than strontium, Therefore, calcium has a higher ionization energy. Comparing carbon and phosphorus, carbon is here and phosphorus is here. Notice that phosphorus is to the right of carbon, but it's one column down. Because of this ambiguity, we can't really tell based on periodic trends alone which one has the higher first ionization energy. So I'll put a question mark here. And finally, we will compare fluorine to sulfur. Fluorine is one column up and also to the right of sulfur. So right away we know that fluorine will have the higher ionization energy. Now if you want a deeper discussion on why I chose what I chose for these particular examples, make sure you watch part one because we go into more detail in that video. In question number two, we have to arrange the following elements in order of decreasing ionization energy. So from highest to lowest. We'll start by locating where these are on the periodic table. Sulfur is right here. Calcium's here, fluorine's here, rubidium's here, and silicon is right here. Now, of course, fluorine will have the highest ionization energy because it's to the top right corner of the periodic table. So that's first. Second will be a battle between silicon and sulfur. Sulfur's to the right of silicon. So this one will be second, third, and calcium will be fourth because it is one column up and to the right. That's fourth. And rubidium will be last. And there you have it. That is how to determine the first ionization energy using periodic trends.